I tried a hairstyle from another YouTuber, Kirstie Petrie. I will leave her link down below. Make sure you guys check out her video. What up? It's your girl Peach here. My channel is about natural hair products, tips, tutorials, techniques, anything to help you along the way in your natural hair journey. Go ahead and be sure to comment, like, and subscribe in order to be a part of the Peach Posh notification crew. Let's go ahead and get started in today's video. Now wait a minute before we get started. I know you guys are wondering where I've been. Well, first I moved, dealing with all the packing, movers. Then I had to deal with the unpacking and all the nice little wonderful things that come along with unpacking. So I also changed jobs. And when I changed jobs, I had to think about all the new responsibilities that go along with that job. The next thing that I had going on was just being overwhelmed with moving, work, and just my day-to-day -day activities. So now that everything's settled down and I am A-OK, -okay, I'm going to go ahead and start cutting these videos for you guys. This is my hair freshly washed and deep conditioned. If you see me looking over to the side, that's me looking at the mirror so I can see how my parts are going. So for this style, I want to make sure that my parts are somewhat even. So it's the same type of uh, traditional parting as far as it goes to the ear. Okay. But keep in mind that you want it to be somewhat behind the ear. You want to make sure you have a part going straight down your head, but not with the middle or center part. So I do have my water bottle with warm water. Kinky Curly Leave-In, Not Today. Kinky Curly Curling Custard. Along with a needle and thread. Scissors for the needle and thread. Hair ties. And I also have my beads. You can get these beads at your local uh, beauty supply along with the thread as well. Now, with this style, again, I don't always like to slick down all my, my edges and all my stuff. I just like to make sure that you know the product goes on well and adheres well to my hair so going in with my handy dandy trusty water bottle first with warm water this is just to make sure that the hair is smooth I don't like to um, go in with heat so I don't like to blow dry my hair before I braid it I usually just make sure it's wet and I also like to go in with my leave-in conditioner, make sure that that's on real. That'll help to smooth things out too and make it more pliable. I'm going with a little bit of gel. And I just apply the gel to the base. And then you just wanna go ahead and braid this back. So this is how the braid's gonna look. The rubber bands that I'm using, you guys, these are brown rubber bands. I have found a good use for them. The best use that I found for them is like when I'm beating. Just because I can see it better on my hair, I'll make a part and it's gonna be in threes. So this is the first break. Make my part go down and back. Again, making sure it's really detangled. I braid the hair going downward. And also during this time, I'm going to make sure that I pull out some of the baby hairs to release the tension. It goes down and back behind my ear. Spraying water as need be. Then the second braid, I braid that braid going straight down and detangling as I go. I'm securing the ends as well. And the third braid, I braid that braid going upward. Now I will say putting the gel on the entire braid, like on the outside, like before you start braiding, it will help to make the braid smoother. But again, I'm not really bothered by that. <laughs> I don't really care. <laughs> so if it's something you care about, you want your braids to be like really, really slick and smooth, add some of the gel to it 
Um, it doesn't need to be completely saturated, but add some of the gel to it and it will help it to smooth out some of those flyaways and make those flyaways go in. I did fail to mention, I do use black rubber bands um, just on this part. So these three, take these three that you have, the, the ones from the, the ends on the sides and then that middle one. What I do is I take the middle one and just push it to the back and I take the two sides and I tie them in not in a knot but like the first tie that you would make if you were tying your shoes <laughs> alright so I put them here and I just try and line it up okay with the other side but I'm gonna go ahead and secure them because it's not secured any longer because I want to make sure I use the uh, black rubber bands uh, the point in this is it just looks like it's more camouflage that's all just making sure that it doesn't show it as much but I'm gonna do the same thing like I did before as far as um, looping it around I'm just kind of braiding it here I'm trying to make sure that I have some ends but I do like to loop it around still I'll take a little bit of product put it on there first So I'm going to take my needle and thread. You can take a bobby pin if you like on this section, but I feel like the bobby pin shows and it, it's a little more difficult to work it in in this small section just to kind of hold down your hair. So I feel like the thread just works better. The tip on the threading, a couple of things. I noticed that when you go in to make it a little bit more seamless and less noticeable, you want to go in with the thread and then when you come out with the same with the thread go in and out in the same place if that makes sense right next to each other so i'll just do a little piece here so you can see what i'm talking about so this thread here is coming from the back right so i'm gonna start with the back because it's already in the back and then i'm gonna go forward come on through okay and then when i go back in since it's already in the front, I want to go back through the front. Right next to it. Okay, so that, that doesn't show as much if you do it that way. And then I take my thread and I cut it here. And I leave enough space or enough thread for me to have space for my fingers. Alright, and then I just go up and over. Loop it under. And then I cut the excess. Now, when you cut an excess, don't cut your hair and say, Peace, Toby. Watch yourself. <laughs> okay. Because Peach did almost cut her own hair as well. You got to really, really be careful. But the point of having thread. The color of your hair is that it's less noticeable. Guys, just load the beads on and I did them in whatever pattern you like. This is the pattern that I like. So, I, this is the pattern I like. So, I'm going to go ahead and use this one. Um, on one hand, I put the lighter color on top and this one I put the darker color on top. It's not really much difference. And I'm going to do the same thing as far as applying some type of product to the end. A little bit of the leave-in as well as gel just making sure that that piece stays together I don't get a lot of fraying all right so I put the hair in there in the beater and then I slide the beads up slide them up okay now the beads are on so you take the loop around that last bead and all you're doing is securing it around that last bead
and then I just take the other ones and slide them down over the loose hair and again you may have to take that hair and apply a little more gel to it so that it doesn't fray okay all right so the back part is basically just like doing a wash and go it's still a little wet but I'm gonna make sure I wet each section as I go apply the rubber band first because if you apply the rubber band first then you can see where you want to stop braiding or where you want to unbraid rather all right so that's what I'm gonna do braid it right where that rubber band is and that way it should just kind of feed into the back of the hairstyle okay so I'm gonna finish up this wash and go here on the same product as before and then once we near the end I just basically take a gold accessory a little gold loop and clip it on my hair just to add some finishing touches I'm going ahead and re wetting my edges and using my gel the kinky curly curling custard I'm gonna go ahead and sit underneath the dryer and I come back on once it's dry this is the very next morning you can consider it day two but not really since I was up all night anyway so my hair takes forever to dry I sat underneath the dryer it didn't get dry I went in with my diffuser and I got it a little bit more dry and believe it or not it's still wet so beyond that the point is getting it at least 80 to 90 percent dry so that the curls can set the shape can set into your hair that's what you want you want it to set so I also go in with my lustrous pink oil glosser okay I go in with this after it has dried and set I put my bonnet on I feel like the oils kind of soak in and it gives your hair the shine that it it needs all right so I'm gonna take my bonnet off and it has a little bit of a shape of the bonnet not much and I just fluff this is it. If I feel like my edges can use a little bit of shaping, I might go in and fix those. But that's about it. This is what I do every day. This should last me for about a good week. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys uh, a 360 view. Talk to you guys later. Bye.